Hi, welcome back to our Motopress Hotel Booking Tutorial Series. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, we'll explore Block Accommodation Rules, a powerful tool for enhancing your booking management. I'll guide you through how to add these rules and key tips for using them effectively. Plus, we've made some exciting updates in version 5.0, including improvements to how blocking rules are displayed. And for those managing buffer times, there is a little extra news you won't want to miss. Now, without further delay, let's dive in. Let's start by understanding block accommodation rules and how to find this menu in your dashboard. To find the block accommodation rules menu, go to bookings booking rules scroll a little and you'll see the block accommodation section you've probably already noticed a hashtag next to each booking rules section hashtags have appeared not only in the booking rules interface but have also been added uh, to the taxes and fees menu and the settings it's like a direct link to a specific section. So you can provide the link with the needed hashtag, for example, to your support agent for quick reference when explaining a particular case. Okay, so now let's focus more on block accommodation rules. As you see, I've already created some of them. These rules help you manage when certain accommodations are unavailable for booking. This is especially useful for handling special events or maintenance periods when you need to block out dates. There are several reasons why you might need to block accommodations. For example, if you're performing maintenance or renovations on your property, it's crucial to block those dates to prevent any bookings during the work period, special events such as private gatherings, corporate events or local festivals might also require blocking dates. And this is often done to ensure that your property is reserved exclusively for the event to avoid conflicts with guest bookings or to accommodate specific needs related to the event. Similarly, if you have staff training seasons or meetings, blocking dates can help manage schedules without impacting guest bookings. Additionally, you might use these rules for exclusive offers or promotions where certain dates are blocked to create special conditions for selected guests. In cases of unexpected operational issues like plumbing or electrical problems, blocking dates helps ensure that guests don't have to deal with any inconveniences. Sure. It's not always necessary to completely block out the date. Uh, you can just restrict check-in or check-out. So stay tuned, we'll talk about all of these restrictions too. Now it's high time to add a new rule and learn more about the restrictions available. So I click the Add Rule button and from the Accommodation Type drop-down we can select whether to apply this rule to all accommodation types or set the rule for a specific accommodation type. For this example, I want this rule only to be applied to the particular accommodation type, not to all. By analogy, you can select all accommodations of this type or choose a specific one if your accommodation type has more than one accommodation. I mean the actual unit of this type. Then you need to select the time frame is for restrictions. The default setting will be not stay in. This box is checked by default if you use hotel booking version 5.0 or greater. This ensures that even if you forget to choose a specific restriction, the rule will still be active and prevent bookings during that time. And if we hover over this question mark, 
we can learn more about each restriction. For instance, for this rule, I want to apply this combination not stay in plus not check out. If needed, it's possible to select all restrictions at once or unselect all options. Moreover, you can leave a comment to remind yourself or to inform your staff. So, when finished, uh, click Done and then save the changes. And now please pay attention to one more enhancement to the interface. We've improved the display of date-based rules, such as block accommodation, which are now sorted chronologically by their from date, ensuring the most recent rules appear at the top for easy reference. Okay, now I'll create one more rule, this time for all accommodation types, and then we'll see how they all work on the front end. And again, save the changes. And we see that this rule is on top as it is for 2025. Now we're going to check out all the booking rules, but the September blocking rules first. Now let's imagine I'm a guest who wants to book the villa. Now we are on the accommodation type page of this villa. The availability calendar of the specific accommodation type does not show not check-in and not check-out booking rules as the guests can stay on these dates. And if we look at the common availability search form, these dates slightly differ. They are light gray with this particular calendar theme. And if we hover over this date, we see which rule is applied. A quick reminder that the common availability search form only shows the booking rules that are applied to all accommodation types. Not check-in and not check-out blocking rules, in my case, are applied to all accommodation types. By the way, if we hover over this date, but in the availability calendar of this specific accommodation type, we also see that this date is unavailable for check-in. For example, by incorporating check-in restrictions during peak seasons, hosts can encourage guests to start their stays on Thursday. They can do this by blocking Friday check-ins. This helps fill the calendar more efficiently and it also makes weekend turnovers easier to manage. By having guests to check in early, like Thursday instead of Friday, hosts can earn more and it also avoids gaps in bookings, uh, keeping nights filled. The same goes for the not checkout rule. Hosts can use not checkout restrictions to boost bookings during busy times. For example, during a busy holiday season, hosts might block Sunday checkouts to encourage guests to stay through Monday. This maximizes occupancy and makes weekend turnovers easier too. Requiring longer stays like Friday to Monday instead of Friday to Sunday also brings in more revenue. It helps keep the calendar full by avoiding awkward gaps and ensuring no empty nights. Aligning with events like a festival ending on Sunday encourages guests to stay longer, plus it gives guests a more relaxed experience, letting them enjoy the area without rushing to leave. It will be displayed similarly if you set a combination of not check in and not check out. And uh, now let's take a closer look at the not stay in rule in October. So we see the 2nd of October is crossed out. The guests will see that this date is unavailable for booking. The combination of not check out and not stay in rules uh, fully blocks the selected date, making the 
previous date as unavailable for check-in. However, in the common reservation form, this date is still available for booking. Remember, we set up this rule uh, for just one type of accommodation. Uh, the common availability search form though only shows booking rules that apply to all accommodation types as i mentioned earlier that's why you you can still select this date in the date picker and book other available villas on the site now let's open the calendar for 2025 uh, for these dates in January, I've applied all, all the restrictions. And when you apply all restrictions, actually, uh, they work just like a combination of not check out and uh, uh, not stay in. By setting block accommodation rules, you can effectively manage your property's availability and ensure smooth operation regardless of the circumstances what's more now all admin created blocks include the correct dts tamp info when exported uh, to your uh, icalender feed dts tamp is a unique identifier in icalender files that shows when the event was created it's important to keep everything in sync between your hotel booking website and other platforms like nbnb uh, booking.com recently we found an issue that was stopping some users from syncing their booking calendars properly and this led to synchronization problems and could have caused booking conflicts and since version uh, 5.0.3 we fixed the issue and everything now works as it should uh, synchronization is back to normal so you can trust your booking calendars to stay in sync without any conflicts Continuing the topic of synchronization bookings with external OTAs, as I promised, I have great news for those who want to uh, take time buffers into account when exporting and importing bookings. And if you want to include buffers when exporting and importing bookings, go to Accommodation, Settings, uh, scroll down, to the uh, calendars synchronization uh, section and tick the box labeled export and import bookings with buffer time included and of course don't forget to save the changes that wraps up our look at block accommodation rules we've covered how to set them up manage restrictions and use them effectively to enhance your booking management. With the latest updates in version 5.0, including improved rule displays and synchronization fixes, your calendar management should be smoother than ever. Remember, these rules help handle special events and maintenance periods more efficiently. Moreover, blocking rule strategy simplifies cleaning schedules, increase earnings, prevents gaps between stays and can align with local events. And for those importing bookings from OTAs, don't forget to tick the box for exporting and importing bookings with buffer time included. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out. Happy managing and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.